Oh, I just realized I never stopped the timer. That sucks. Or did I? I don't know. I'll worry about it later. I'll hash it out. Now I have another handgun. Which apparently has the biggest firepower. Yeah, I don't want to buy it. Something else? No, you know what? I'm not I'm not worried about that right now. This means I probably would have found it and just missed it. I know I said I wasn't going to buy it, but I lied. That's a nice hike of firepower already. This is what Irving meant by answers. Not sure, but obviously there's a connection here with Umbrella, and that's never a good sign. We can worry about this later. First, we need to find out about Jill. You're right. Let's see what we can I'm do almost that. sure that there's like a gem or two or something. Yeah, there's one. I just saw it. There might be one more that you can get in here. But let me go pick that up before it despawns, because I feel like it will. And I ran the wrong way, because I am a jerk. Oh. Maybe that's the only one here. I thought there might have been at least one more, but... Oh, there it is. And I missed it again. Guess we barely have bullets as it is. Try a little harder. I forgot what these things are called. It's like something with the sun. Or something of the sun, I don't remember. I know sun is in it, it's sun something or other. I feel like there might be one more gem. Or 
maybe there was like a BSAA emblem in there. I don't know. Ooh, Chief Researcher Brandage Journal. Number one. 1966. December 4th. Mr. Spencer once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Oh, I knew it. I see. I knew it had sun in it. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing more than a rumor or legend that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research would prove us wrong. The first person to recognize the vil Bleh. validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesized that a virus, hereto unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. The man was so... What the fuck? Perspicacious? I don't know, whatever. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. Uh, the virus... The virus discovered in the flower was labeled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from the... Nidpaya? After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. Well, I, I don't know why I yawn when I read. Ugh. He wants to return home as soon as possible to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1976. February 12th. We've hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor br uh, flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. We cultivated the flowers to mass produce the progenitor virus. Fuck me. At first, everything succeed, proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is when a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they've grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. March 23rd. We've made no progress. We've tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Dr. Marcus about the direction his research was taking. During the debate, Mr. Spencer interjected some foolhardy notion starting a company. Without the progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all pointless. Well, he didn't see that, buddy. <sighs> Something good. Kinda. You grab it. Okay. You grab it. Okay. Telegram from James Barkis. T-Virus Development, a success. January 13th, 1978. Oh, that's my mom's birthday. Just not the same here. J. Marcus. I thought I was going to start yawning again. Yeah, Brandon's Journal again. Yay, us, 1998. November 16th, we've closed down the research center. It's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the Arclay, Arclay facility in Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I've spent every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the day I heard he had died all those years ago. I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It was as if all my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the progenitor virus to all of Umbrella's laboratories. 
I was just an automated machine reporting to Umbrella Headquarters every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. I was like a zombie ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. And now the research center where I've spent half my life is closed. I don't really care one way or the other. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it is too late to have any semblance of a life again. This guy writes too much. Mm. 1968. April 15th. It's been over a year since they've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We can no longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. Now, it, why is it not capitalized all of a sudden? Ugh. I know those routine attacks by the Napata are really going to uh, rack my nerves, but for the sake of our research, I will persevere. In the face of my foreseen dismay, it was doc it was Mr. Spencer who provided the answer. If you're worried about the Nipaya, then we'll just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite an atypical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the only option available. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan. August 19th. Finally, some good news. We learned that they were able to chase the Napata off their land. The land we acquired only amounts to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes the area where the progenitor flower grows, then there should be no issues. Mr. Spencer said he plans to construct research facilities at the site which will expedite our research into the virus. He hastily made our preparations to depart for Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that, Ms. that Dr. Marcus stay in Raccoon City to take over the training center. We were initially taken aback by this request, but we soon realized it was the logical course of action. Dr. Marcus needs a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If he were here in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at this time. I just hope the African research facilities get built soon. So now I will go alone to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agree this is the best course of action. I have to start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be busy. I'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. September 29th. I've been in Africa for two weeks now. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. The so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents. And we have to employ armed soldiers to keep the Napata at bay. But the thing that gets on my nerves the most is the sound of the construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying just to concentrate on extracting virus samples from the progenitor flowers so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully if I focus on my work I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. 1969. Ooh, I did pretty well. June 15th. The research facilities are finally completed. This is the real Umbrella Africa Research Center, not just some pile of tents. Uh, but I've come to a realization in the past nine months. The facilities are too small for our needs. We need to make them larger, more suitable for research. Then we can fill them with more talented researchers. This place needs to be our front line in our progenitor virus research. Our results will do a great service to Dr. Marcus and his viral research. In a rare turn of events, that old skin flint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. Well, I'm glad you're happy that he was in agreement. Hey boys, coffee. Uh. Umbrella Training Facility, Dr. James Marcus, five cases of the progenitor sample, December 15th, 1977, Africa Research Center, blah, blah, blah. Take it! Roger! <laughs> Chef, I didn't think that we needed to do that. I didn't think we needed to I don't know to how, heal. but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. This is the facility from the picture. No doubt about it. We're finally getting somewhere. It's 
but we're gonna break them all. I don't think that actually helps, but whatever. I did my part. <sighs> well, let's see what big bad's coming our way. Oh, that's hot. Careful. I saw something. Is that a beaver or a possum or something? No, it's a giant rat. That's a giant -er rat. Oh, that's creepy. You're just a poor, sickly looking goat. I wanted to fight the giant rats or a super goat or something like Take that. It. Okay. That's not fun for me. Something really? You should fucking both drop hearts for me after that bullshit. This game is seriously so much easier than I remember it. I mean, granted, like I like I had said earlier, though I never played on um. Normal. Come on, okay, you grab it. Roger. Gold bars and watches like nothing. Oh, shocker. Take it, Roger. That you, home slice. I wonder if I could s oh I can't. I was gonna say maybe I could switch in her inventory. I guess not that it really matters. Thank god there weren't more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. Don't jinx it. I don't have the ammo for you to jinx it. Senses are weak. Just to be safe, we should be as quiet as possible. Roger, run! That was not the time we don't have the resources. Probably should have started this. I don't even care 
care about that. I don't want it. Come on, I can't right now. Shove up. Okay. Oh my god, Sheva, are you fucking kidding me? There was no reason that had to be as difficult as you just made it. Take it. Okay. Gonna fucking Give use me a that grenade. Already, this. No. Thanks for the help. Come on, Roger. Down into what the void. Done. Jill. I always hated that they made her fucking wrong. Too tough. We need to find some of the target. He's down. 
this. Oh, that works too. It wasn't bad, at least those little fairy things dropped me a decent amount of ammo. Four, one, and four, two. Dad. 
That has piercing. I don't think this has piercing. I'm trying to think if uh, I wish you could empty I wish you could just empty out the uh, ammo I know I don't have money I want to see something uh, my eye is burning Oh, it just sucks, the capacity. But it does do a lot more damage as it is. So this was the facility Excella was talking about. She's got us under surveillance. I can almost guarantee she sent that B.O.W. to eliminate us. You can ask her about that, and about Jill, once we find her. Alright, let's find her then. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere in this room there is an emblem. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, I don't know where it is in here, but it's there's definitely one in here. I I am like I am almost certain. Test subject data. Test subject Caucasian female, eye color blue. Subject has been in a medically induced stasis for an extended period. All vital signs, including heart rate, respiration, blood pressure, and temperature, are within normal values. A pigmentation abnormality has been observed. Effect of abnormality is limited to cranial hair follicles. In addition, slight skin whitening has been observed. And She's turning into an albino. Maybe it was in the last chapter. Maybe like before you fought the boss you had to get it. Maybe that's it. It's gonna bother me because I know it's here and I'm probably just overlooking it. I guess I should have bought that bulletproof vest. Come on! Okay. Come on! Okay. 
Starting to get some things in ammo. That was kind of my own fault. It just sound like he did some Pikachu shit. I just heard Pika Pika Pika. I'm trying to run through okay. my arm and just do it. How about that? Take care of it. Or not. Use this. Thanks. I think if you want to get that achievement for building up trust, I think you actually have to give her stuff and like thank her when she gives you things. I don't remember. Solve that problem.
Oh yeah, more nasty shit. That pretty much means that there's a liquor somewhere. Thanks. I need ammo. Use this. Thanks. Sheva, I gave you that fucking thing. Make it work, girl. I'm pissed that I couldn't kill like those eight liquors in one shot before. Because I know Thanks. not all of them would have dropped those, um, what's it called? Not all of them would have dropped the, uh, the hearts, but I bet you at least two or three of them would have. On top of whatever else ammo that they would give me. I know we wasted a lot of resources on them, but it's totally worth it. Actually, she has plenty of ammo. I mean, she'll go through that ammo really quickly, but she has a decent amount of ammo. She's better ammo than me. Before she just flew through it quicker because her clip size was like 85. <laughs> you grab it. Roger. Oh, rotten egg, never mind. There is an achievement for killing them, one of these guys. Well, anybody. Just uh, killing an enemy in general with a rotten egg. 
And if you're having trouble finding a rotten egg, um, what you can do is uh, just hold on to a regular uh, egg. I don't know if the golden ones rot, because they're kind of special, but um, you just hold on to a regular uh, white egg. Probably a, a brown egg probably works too. And if you hold on to it for a little while, it'll actually rot in your inventory. So, if you're having a hard time finding a rotten one to use for the achievement, that's one way to go about it. I owe you one. Girl, start using that ammo. I'm running low and she has an abundance. Which is good. Not complaining. Much. I don't get it. We're running too low. Oh, I know what- okay, I remember now. I have to jump Looks down. Like we have to go this way. Oh, she can't take it. Give me a rifle. Use this. I owe you one. And now you may have your rifle back. Thanks, partner. needs to stop messing around. so bad right now if uh, somebody just used their sniper. <sighs> Ugh, I, I just don't even care to be honest with you. Wait, will it tell me? No, it won't tell me the stats, will it? No. Just take a look over here real quick before I pull that. I have a bad feeling about this.
No. I think they're gonna come out of those. Come on, okay. take it, Roger. <laughs> Missiles. Why would they need these? Do you think? Maybe they're planning to start a war. They're filled with Uroboros. Oh, I will waste the 40 in here. I don't even care. Oh, it is like aliens. Look. Ew. I honestly have no recollection of what it is. So, oh, such a good game. I wish they, I wish they would re-release Power Stone. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> it, well, I mean, I think they actually did re-release. Well, I don't know if it was a re-release or if it was like whatever, but I know there was something on like the PSP or the Vita or some shit like that. But I don't care about that. I can just jump on top of them. Oh, I cannot. Help! Help! Get out here! Wait, that guy has a necklace. Homegirl, don't play. Yeah, you're better off just trying to stick to the middle. before it opens. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose of that was. I am just gonna continue to let things burn. Come on. Okay.
Give me an herb. Take this. Thanks. Give me a grenade. Take this. You grab it. Roger. Come on. I can't right now. I am full yet again. Oh, well, I'm not getting rid of that. I think we have to fight that. Well, glad you could make it. Up here, you two. <laughs> Excella, where's Jill? Jill, Jill, Jill. You're like a broken record, you know that? Just as single-minded as he said. You've spent so long trying to track down Ouroboros. Well, here, enjoy. Uroboros is a new DLW, and you're planning on selling it to terrorists. Mm -hmm. Good guess, but no. While it does resemble the BOW's based on the progenitor virus, I have no intention of selling it to terrorists. Then what are you using it for? We shall proceed to the next stage. My vision and his combined now made a reality. Evolution? What are you talking about? Oh, you'll find us soon enough. Everyone will. <laughs> Too bad. Looks like he wasn't worthy. Only the chosen ones are fit for the coming new world. Excella, wait! Got all the ammo. Find 
No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Sheva sucks. She's got more ammo. How the hell am I supposed to kill this thing?
Okay. Take it. Okay. You fucking burn him. Burn in hell, you son of a bitch! Oh, if I fucking die, I will bring an RPG. Believe you me, if I die, I will bring that fucking rocket launcher. This fight is ridiculous. Run out of ammo before I'm able to kill this thing.
strategy in this? Oh hey, I see Kitty, I didn't even realize. I've been like caught up in this fucking battle. But yeah, no worries, I'll follow that. God. Oh, I'm gonna end up dying. I'm gonna end up dying a horrible, horrible death. Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Uh. And now I have no fucking ammo. <laughs> I can't even buy ammo! Oh, at least she has plenty of ammo. What is this worth? Five? 250, ugh. Oh, that's like incredibly annoying. <laughs> I know I made it, but now I don't know like how am I supposed to f how am I supposed to do the rest? Oh, that was ridiculous. When we first went in there, she had close to 500 rounds and it's down to 88. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, I didn't have a rocket with me. Seventy dollars short. I didn't realize. Like, I, uh, I didn't realize that boss was gonna be such a pain in the ass. What's all this nonsense? That was terrible. All right, heal us. What does she mean? 
Something about a philosopher's stone and selecting DNA. And look, such, matter a, what she such says, a fucking she's process. A he didn't even and drop anything. You can't risk Uroboros getting out of here and infecting people. Oh, uh, that pisses me take off. Care of business. Really? Really? This is a, this is really happening. Have limited ammo as it is. Uh, I wish I had one with me. Well, now it doesn't matter, but I mean at that fight. Well, if I died, I was like, I was already saying, I was like, I'm just gonna go and get that. I owe you one. Like, first thing I'm gonna do is bring the rocket. I wish you could buy ammo, like that would have made my life a lot easier. But no. Yeah. Thanks, partner. Of course we find tons of ammo for her though, but not for me. Now, as long as there's nothing, like, seriously crazy to take down, I should be somewhat okay. Ugh. I hate those little pods, those little, the little alien things are gonna come. Yeah, maybe I should have given her the grenade launcher. I probably should have. That was my fault. Gave you a sniper rifle, you're just gonna sit there and pussyfoot? No, 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 no. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot these guys have an instant kill. Oh, you son of a bitch. What could I buy now? Oh, electric rounds. How annoying. I messed that one up pretty good. No, you get that. Thanks, partner. So 
So right though, now I'm prepared. Thanks, partner. I don't understand why she's not using her sniper. She should just be sniping those guys. Back. She's not gonna use it. I'll put it to good use. Come on, Roger. Yeah. Get it. Why don't you fucking work it? Ah! I mean, I guess that works. Is a shit. <sighs> oh, I can't even upgrade it. Okay, whatever. <sighs> These cocksuckers. Cause I know she ain't gonna work it. Oh, that bastard duck. I owe you one. Yeah, it's such a pain in the ass. Like, I thought I hit it when it opened up. And then if this is the same, there should be electric rounds. Yes. Uh, see if I can kill the first one without that mine. But is this a fucking trick?
Now it's not coming out. I just got a bad feeling like I don't trust it. Whoa, run! Thank God. I mean, it actually kind of sucks that that first one didn't open up because now I don't get the gem from it. Doesn't help that I can't fucking see either. Shove up, move the hell out of my way. Oh, come on, that was like a direct hit. I thought, I, th I really thought I was gonna die there. <laughs> I thought that was the end of the road for me. Okay. Take Grab it. Roger. Thanks. Yeah, she has all that rifle ammo and she's not using her rifle. I miss anything right now. Oh, the other guy died in one hit, really? This big 
dude didn't drop anything? Okay, get this thing moving. I'll check if I can move it from over there. Uh, I would hope you could. You know, if he was really quick enough, he could just run and jump on there. Oh, she probably should have stayed behind because I can't help her. Got some items over here. <laughs> that motherfucker got a rocket launcher. <laughs> Nice. need. I'll take that necklace. Um.
Come on! Roger! Oh, she's full. You grab it. Okay. I feel like something bad is about to happen. You grab it. Okay. They're giving me way too much stuff. Maybe it's in here where you there's an it. emblem. Roger. It was bothering me before. You grab it. There's an emblem in one of these stupid containers. I just don't know where. Icy Kitty, thanks for hanging around. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll I'll be sure to follow your new name. But uh, you have a good night. I'll catch you around. Oh come on, Sheva, this is all you. Something stopping it. Give me your rifle. Give this. Shit wasn't annoying enough. I don't know which one of us got that. I think it was her. I owe you one. Give me your rifle. Take this. Thanks. Reload. Wait, where are they shooting from now? Where is that platform? Is it below us? Oh, it is. That was my own fault for rushing in. Oh, 
That's too bad we don't have a green one. I think Excella is here. If we want to find out, we're gonna to have to lower that bridge. Then we need to locate the controls. Maybe they're Take in that it. building. I think this is locked, yeah. It's not a green herb until she gets up there. <laughs> Why can't he just climb up this machine and then climb right up there? Because that would make sense. Perhaps too much sense. I was scared of. Damn, I should not have let her. Chris, I'm going to need your help with those things. Fuck you, want me to do? Shove off going up next time. You ain't going. No, no, no. How much was this worth? Five.
Sheva. Okay. I'll activate the elevator for you. Come on! You can't be serious. You know I am not even playing. As long as Sheva can keep him off my back, I don't even need to kill the rest. That was fucking ridiculous. Like, how the fuck was I supposed to do that without that magnum? I owe you one. And I fucking upgraded the Magnum. <laughs> Wasted all my bullets. Which is no bueno. Especially because if the part that I think is coming up right here is what it is, I probably could have put them to better use.
Oh, and this is like what I was talking about before. Like, not all of them sparkle, but obviously, that's one that you could use. And, like, if you're running, yeah, that is the fucking part. It's gonna kill me! Stop right there! Bravo! Damn it, where's Jill? <laughs> Jill? Maybe I'll tell you. Maybe I won't. Stop playing around. We want some answers. You haven't changed. Wesker, you are alive. This is Wesker. <laughs> we last. I remember in Resident Evil One. Spencer estate. Wesker well, was like my favorite well, character. Be well, before I knew he was evil, then I was like, one but in the first Resident Evil, I was like, oh my god, Wesker is so fucking cool. Why can't you play as him? I mean, I liked Chris and Jill us. too, obviously, but. I remember Wesker is like at night and he's still wearing his fucking sunglasses. And out of all the stars members, he was the only one that was like wearing blue. So I thought that was pretty cool. Well, the only one I remember wearing like a, a blue getup. Was it like blue and black or something? And only. That has to suck. <laughs> that part always cracks me up when he just fucking elbow chap no, she goes flying. This once and for all. I think the odds are fair. Two on two. Right, Jill. Uh, this shit sucks. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spend. Oh, girl, it's not a matter of being reckless. Defeat Wesker, um, I just do not have the means to. And it's a it's an achievement, uh, beating Wesker before the seven minutes are up. hit him. I think he has to be like distracted. Your melee 
postponing the inevitable. It's so true. Yeah, I think, uh, I think in order to actually, like, hurt him, he has to be distracted. So basically, you have to get him from behind. You can't hide forever! You're merely postponing the inevitable. Fuck is wooing and eyeing. Yeah, I think like you have to hide, you have to come from behind and then shoot him. I think it's that and if he's distracted by your partner. Now, obviously my partner fucking sucks, they can barely get to me. Just accept your fate! Really? Ah! Yeah, see that's the only way you have to hide from him and he can't he can't see you. He can't be alerted to you. There you are. It works a lot better when you have um, an actual co partner. But I am one unfortunate. If Sheva would get her happy ass over here. Chris, you were on steroids and you can't open this yourself. That's a problem. Oh. Yes. You do not fuck with that. That is a gun. She will get more ammo later. Why I could not give it to her is beyond me. Because her stack is not full. You disappoint me. Is that the best you've got? Happy to disappoint you, Chef. <laughs> you can't hide forever. I beg to differ. Come on! Roger. You're merely postponing the inevitable. Come on! Okay. God damn it! You can't hide forever! Well, I hope those herbs stay there because we don't have the meat. Then I chill out. Oh, playtime is over. How fortunate for you. That sucks too, because if you beat him, he drops some he drops some kind of treasure that's worth a lot. Time, Chris. And you get How the achievement. Disappointing. Yes. Go. What's going on? Stop!
Jill! Come on! It's me, Chris! Snap out of it! Nice move, Chris. But now that your partner has arrived, I'll leave you two to catch up. Come on, Jill! Get yourself together, wake up! Jill Valentine! Jill. Remarkable. Still resisting at such an advanced stage. Commendable, yet futile. No more time for games, Chris. I've got work to do. Have fun watching Jill suffer. Wait, what did you do to her? on her chest. We have to get it off her. Ah, no bueno! If we can remove that device on her chest, she won't return to normal. All right. Then that's what we're gonna do. We have to get that device off her chest! <laughs> There's a special way to defeat her ass, too. To get an achievement. But I don't remember what it is. Give me an herb. Use this! Give me a get it! Bitch! I think it's you don't shoot her. Jill, what are you doing? We have to get that device off her chest. I want to say it might be shooting it off. We have to get that device off. I don't remember. Jill, answer me! Fucking A, Sheva. It's me, Chris! Would you recognize me? Come on, snap out of it! Don't do this, Jill! Help me! Are you okay? Get her, get her, get her! I don't want to hurt you! We have to get that device off her chest! Jill, what are you doing? Fuck, I don't know. Stop this! Jill, answer me! I don't remember the, the way you have to defeat her. Don't you recognize me? Come on, snap out of it! We have to get that device off her chest! Now! Hold it down! I don't remember if you're not supposed to shoot it. Like, I don't remember! Oh, I wish I did! I guess it's still not enough. Don't do this, Jill. I don't want to hurt you. We have to get that device off the chest. Jill, what are you doing? Stop 
stop this! Jill, answer me! Chris! Get the fight! Now! Hold it down! Ugh, oh, finally! I don't think I got- I didn't get the achievement though, I don't think. Yeah, no, I think it would have popped up by now. Jill. Jill. Are you alright? Chris. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're Sheva, right? Yes. I couldn't control my actions. Oh my god, I was still aware. Oh, forgive me. It's all right. Thank you. Listen, I'm gonna be all right. You do need to stop him. We can't just leave you here. You have to. This is your only chance. If Wesker succeeds, Uroboros will be spread across the globe. Oh, it's Millions gonna bother me now <laughs> what the, like, the yeah. special I'm condition right. was. You need to stop him. Chris, you're the only one who can. Maybe it was without shooting Before it. It's too late. Don't you trust your partner? Ugh, Jill Valentine, my second favorite character. Chris? I'm alright. The only one I like, and it's it's really almost tied, but slightly more is Claire Redfield. But Jill is a close second. A very close second. Like like Over if there. if Claire was a ten, then Jill's like a nine point nine. Although I don't like her blonde. Time to put an end to this. Let's go. Oh man. Whoop. Still managed to get an A. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a very quick break. Uh, I just wanna run and grab a drink and all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, I think we're I think we're on the last chapter. I think five three is the last five, uh the last chapter for the fives. Then I I don't know I don't remember if six goes to three or four though. But we're getting there. We are so getting there. Alright, so I will be right back. <laughs> 